Welcome to the Primate and Forest Conservation video. In this short video we will be discussing what is deforestation, how does it happen and why. We will also be looking at the important work the primates do in your forests and why it is so essential to ensure the continued survival of our existing forests and primates. Deforestation is the permanent destruction of indigenous forests and woodlands. Since ancient times, man has been adapting the environment to meet the growing needs of civilizations. Just because this is something we have been doing for centuries does not mean that it is right or that we have the right to continue. We now know that 80% of the world's ancient forests have been destroyed. Trees are important, valuable and necessary to our very existence. Without trees, we humans would not exist on this planet as trees convert carbon dioxide into oxygen. Without oxygen, we cannot breathe. From food to life-saving medicines, forests give mankind a variety of gifts that contribute much to our quality of life. Equally as important, forests are also the home of more than half of all creatures and organisms on this planet. Deforestation has made it possible for communities to be built and make way for residential houses, office buildings and factories. Governments are able to build roads to make trade and transport easier, and therefore more convenient to residents. Deforestation can also mean the conversion of forest land to productive land for agricultural uses. This has given many communities the opportunity to make positive changes in their lives, providing a money income and food daily for the family. Deforestation exposes soil to heat and rain. As rainwater flows, it washes out the nutrients that makes the soil rich and fertile. Agriculture practiced on top of deforestation can result in the desertification of many areas. Most of the areas that have undergone deforestation are actually unsuitable for long-term agricultural use, such as ranching and farming. Once deprived of their forest cover, the lands rapidly degrade in quality. Deforestation can result to watersheds that are no longer able to sustain and regulate water flows from rivers and streams. Trees are highly effective in absorbing water quantities, keeping the amount of water in watersheds to a manageable level. The forest also serves as a cover against erosion. Once they are gone, too much water can result to downstream flooding, many of which have caused disasters in many parts of the world. Deforestation can also result in the displacement of indigenous communities and their traditional way of life. When governments decide that areas of forest are to be cut down to build communities, access to forest resources by indigenous peoples are ignored. This ignores their rights as much as it takes away the resources that their ancestors have bestowed upon them. Deforestation ultimately can result in the destruction and extinction of many plant and animal species many of whom remain unknown and whose benefits will be left undiscovered. Each year, as deforestation continues, much of the wilderness from which we benefit and would have continued to benefit from will be lost forever. If we look at this picture of a forest, we can see that the trees across the area are sparse, but let's focus on one specific area, the outline box in the middle of our forest. In this area, we can see how little trees there are, and plenty of room for more trees. So here we can see that a primate has entered our little area of forest. Primates play an important role in seed dispersal. The primates eat seeds from various parts of the forest. Later, when the primate has digested its food, seeds are returned to the forest when the primate passes faeces. From here, the seed is replanted and is able to grow into a plant we can see that the seeds have started to grow into plants. Now we can see that the seeds are developing into more plants and trees, thanks to the presence of the primate in our forest area. It is also important to realise that primates are not the only species that help with seed dispersal. Many other animals contribute to this process as well. And here our seeds have continued to grow into trees. If we look at our area of forest from a distance, we can see how the primate has helped with the plantation of new trees. 
And here, our forest is much lusher, there's plenty more trees thanks to our primate, who has helped with reforestation. Bearing in mind the rate at which we humans are destroying our forests, we cannot afford to lose animals such as primates who aid with reforestation. So now we know what our primates do for our forest, but now what can we do? We can use wood sparingly, recycle paper and wood where possible. It is also possible to slow deforestation down. To do this, trees could be cut at slower rates. For each cut tree, a new one should be replanted. By that, logging activities would not be entirely scrapped and at the same time, forests are renewed. While it's true deforestation has brought with it opportunities to improve our lives, sometimes we do not appreciate that not only are we actually significantly harming our environment and ourselves as a consequence, with every tree we are potentially destroying an animal's home.